Relating slope and y-intercept to linear equations, lesson 7 notes, example 11. Continued. So we already did a and b, and we already wrote that information down there. So now we're ready to continue. All right, so for c and d, let's start with c. What type of line is c? c is a vertical line. Vertical lines only cross the x-axis and look like x equals a number. So if I go back up to C, the only thing you need to do is put a point where it crosses the x-axis. Where does it cross? Here's the origin. It crosses at 1, 2. So again, 1, 2. x equals 2. And that's it. Your equation for C is x equals 2. For D, D is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines only cross the y-axis. So I'm going to put a point where it crosses the y-axis. So I'm going to make it a little smaller. Where does that cross the y-axis? Well, Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So it crosses at y equals negative 5. And that's it. That's my answer for D. Alright, so now let's move on to E and F. Ah, now E is a slanted line. So now we're back to what we had to do in example 3. E is a slanted line. So for slanted lines we have to find M and B. So let's start with the y-intercept. B is the y-intercept. Where does E cross the y-axis? Well, it crosses the y-axis at this point right here. So that is our B. B equals, it goes down 1, so B is negative 1. Now we want to pick a point on any other point on this graph. So I could pick this point here, I could pick this point here, here, here and so forth, or I could come down here and pick this point, this point, this point, and so forth. All right, it doesn't matter. It's up to you where, what point you want to pick. But my suggestion is to pick one that's right beside it. So in other words, either pick this point here or pick this point down here. I'm going to pick, uh, I think I'm going to pick this one. All right, so now going from Left to right, my line is going down, which means I go down first. Then I go to the right. So going down one means my slope or my rise is negative one. Going to the right one means my run is positive 1. So for the notes, I want you to write rise here and run down here. So the first thing I need to do is find my slope. So my rise is negative 1 over 1. Well, because we're writing an equation, we want to simplify that. And negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1. My y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. And that was 1. Oh, sorry, negative 1 across the y-axis at negative 1. 
So my slope is negative 1. My y-intercept is negative 1. So my equation is going to be y equals, now, you can put negative 1x minus 1, and that could be your final answer, and I would not mark that wrong. But, technically you don't need to put that 1 for the slope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a lighter color. Okay, so you could either have the answer y equals negative x minus 1 or negative 1x minus 1. Either way, it is correct. All right, so let's look at f. f is a vertical line. Vertical lines only cross the x-axis. So it crosses the x-axis at this point. What is that point? Well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So x equals 4, and that is your equation. x equals 4. All right, let's go to g. Once again, g is a slanted line. g is a slanted line. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the y-intercept. So that is the point where, it's actually the point where both g and h cross the y-axis. But let's start with g. So this would be our y-intercept, which is down 1, down 1, down 2, down 3. Since it went down 3, our b is negative 3. Now, because this line is close to the, because this point, I'm sorry, this point right here is close to both the h graph and the g graph, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to use two points up here to find my slope. So I'm going to use this point right here and this point right here to find my slope. That way it's not near line H and it, you don't get confused. So let's use these two points here to find our rise and run. So this would be our rise. And it's going up 1, 2 and this would be our run. And it's going over one. So for the notes, I want you to put rise and run. So for G, my slope My rise is 2, my run is 1. That would simplify to just 2. My y-intercept, which is down here, is negative 3. So b equals negative 3. All right, so now I write my equation. So again, it's going to be of the form y equals mx plus b, because it's a slanted line. So y equals, my slope is 2, then I have x, and my y-intercept is negative 3. So y equals 2x minus 3 is my equation for g. For H, it's pretty much already done for us. Uh, I use, use this orange. Okay, H is a 
horizontal line, and it crosses the y-axis at the same place as g, which is negative 3. So over here, let's put y equals negative 3, and that is our equation for h. y equals negative 3. And that is it. So once again, you'll have three, in this lesson, you'll have three types of equations. Slanted, vertical, or horizontal. If it's slanted, you have to find m and b, and your equation will look like y equals mx plus b. If it's vertical, it only crosses the x-axis, and it'll look like x equals number, like f right here. If it's a horizontal line, it will only cross the y-axis, like h right there, and it's going to be y equals a number. All right, so that is it for example 11, and that's actually it for the notes. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask.